Should we do some practice before we start filming? While these guys keep setting up? Depends. What? Yeah, what's come on? Practicing? Yeah. What? You need another practice. <laughs> <laughs> There is always the need for new mode of actions in the fungicide area and when we started we were looking a bit more into the seed care segment but also as well as into the cereal segment where we clearly got the input from the business that they want to have a new septoria compound. We had three compounds more or less of the same structure type which we had in early field trials in Brazil and they look all very good so the people in Brazil were very eagerly looking forward for this chemistry, seeing this the first time. And then in the second season we have seen that Solatanol is the best one of the three, and by chance also the cheapest one of the three. Solatanol was offering the best value of the three. Isopyrosome was already a very good compound, was a broad spectrum compound with high efficacy level. And then you have something in hands like Solatanol which is even better in some areas. We were very proud of this, and of course we could not believe to see the high efficacy in the field. And I think the team was really very proud of, and I have to say the research team was always believing in Solatanol. I didn't have to motivate them. So they fully behind Solatanol and said, we have to push this forward, because this is so good. I think for growth this is a clear advantage, this is a step forward. So we're working with lower rates, they have this long-lasting effect, which they of course they want to see, which gives them more confidence that they get the high yields. And the low rates at the end of the day makes this product very attractive. Low rates, high efficacy. I think this is unique in the cereals area. I think there is not one proud moment, there are proud moments. I think the first one was when we see the potential of the compound in the field. I think this was helping to bring it forward and then this helped to motivate the people in chemistry to look for the better route. And when we found the route, this was the basis for promotion to the late development stage. And when we got this, I was confident that we could bring it to the market. But Solatenol was really the results of a very good team effort. And I have to say, without having these teams in place, we would not be able to manage such a complex project.